I'm Sarah Sharp, and I'm here to talk about open source rockets and the Portland State Aerospace Society, which builds them. Portland State Aerospace Society, we shortened to PSAS because it's too long to say. <laughs> so PSAS's goal is to build a rocket that can put a nano satellite into orbit. Lots of amateur groups have built CubeSats, as they're called, but none of them have actually put them into orbit themselves. This is because getting into orbit is kind of hard. You can't just go straight up, you'll come back right down. So what you have to do instead is go up and slowly drift over sideways in an optimal exertion trajectory, and this is a little hard. So what do you have to do to, and what do you need to get into orbit? First of all, you need a lot of sensors. You need to know how fast you're going, are you accelerating, how high are you, are you rolling, and which direction you're actually going in. You also need a couple other things, like you need to be able to correct your course. So for instance, you might be able to move your motor around so you can move your rocket around, um, like the shuttle is doing down there, you can see the, the motors are actually pointing away from the main thrust. And you also need active guidance. Since our rocket is not manned, you have to have computer smarts to guide into space. And if things go wrong, then you might go into a spin like the Trident rocket over there. Um, the other things that you need are communication. You need to make sure that your rocket's in orbit and not in someone's lawn. <laughs> so at this point, many of you might be wondering, you know, all this is well and good, but how is your rocket open source? One of the things that we do is everything we do is freely available on our website. So everything from the flight computer that runs Linux, the software for that, um, everything from our Java launch control, even the data from our launches is on our website. You can download, modify it, and redistribute it. Also, we have hardware on our website. So you can take our designs, our electronic designs, our airframe designs, and even the design for our cylindrical patch antennas and do whatever you want with it. We're also an open community. We have public meetings, we have a public wiki, and we do community events like we get together and launch little water rockets just for fun. <laughs> it's not all about the big rockets, sorry. So why is PSAS so open? We started out really small, and we're still small compared to NASA. So anyone, anyone that takes our work and builds upon it and gives back to the community, we learn from that. So at this, day, I, at this point I say, join the dark side, we have rockets. And Guide Portland is all about sharing your passion. So I'd like to help you find your rocket passion. So what could your rocket passion be? Maybe you like building things. Maybe you think welding's cool. Or you'd like to work with a CNC machine and learn how it works. So maybe working on the PSAS airframe team might be for you. Or maybe you like something else. Maybe you like, say, communication. Radios, or you want to be a ham radio operator, or build antennas. Or maybe you want to build, you know, an automatic uh, tracking device so that guy over there doesn't have to track a rocket for two hours. <laughs> or maybe you like electronics. Maybe you've played with resistors and capacitors, or you've settled with microprocessors, so maybe the avionics team might be for you. <coughs> or maybe you like, say, software. And maybe you want to work on the control software for our flight computer. Or maybe you've played with Java and you'd like to make our launch control app look prettier. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you like data analysis. Or maybe you just like to blow things up. <laughs> So you might want to work on our propulsion. You know, maybe you have kind of gone past your chemistry set stage and you want to work with hybrid motors. Um, if so, the propulsion team might be for you. Or maybe there's a passion that I don't know about that you could share with us. Maybe you'd like to organize a launch or sew our next sock monkey or take pictures or do a documentary of our group. We'd love to have you contribute. <laughs> Or maybe you just want to watch a launch. They're a lot of fun. We launch at the Black Rock Desert in Nevada or the Bend Desert in Oregon. We hope to launch this summer, so you should sign up for our mailing list and come to a launch. Uh, Peace House meets every Wednesday at the Portland State University campus in the 4th Avenue building. And I hope to see some of you at a meeting. Thank you for letting me share my rocket passion.